And in Starkville, the Mississippi State Bulldogs took on the Aggies of Texas A&M. Our Bradley Davis was there and has the recap on MSU's big win. That's right, Joe. Tonight starting a gauntlet stretch for Mississippi State to end their season. Six of their last eight opponents currently ranked inside the top 25 with Texas A&M coming in at 17. So a really big one that they needed to get here at home tonight, even though obviously Texas A&M, no easy task. Their defense giving up less than 20 points a game coming in here tonight. Super stout, but as it turns out, it wouldn't be quite stout enough for Mike Leach's squad. The chemistry between Caleb Ducking and Will Rogers continues to grow. In the second quarter, first try in the red zone is no good. Rogers goes right back to him one play later and gets in for the touchdown. Last year when we were playing Ole Miss, they were, they were kind of taking away the inside. They don't want, really want you throwing anything that goes in breaking routes. Um, so I kind of peeked out there and I saw that the corner was just inside leverage, kind of the same way that they were doing last year. Half winding down, state up 14 to nothing now. AM driving after an MSU pass interference. Remember that adversity Mike Leach said his guys didn't do well with against LSU? This time, that's about as good as you can respond. Bulldogs close out the half strong, leading 14 to nothing. And so sometimes it's important to stay composed and and uh, <clears throat> you know just have the patience to do your job over and over again till things come your way. And um, so I think we've gotten better at that. Here was the play of the night. AM driving again after a fumble from ducking. Emmanuel Forbes blocks the field goal attempt. Then DeCamrion Richardson takes it all the way back to the house. That's going to be a touchdown. Huge swing makes it 21 to 3. And Leach says that's not all Forbes did on that play. After blocking it, uh, he went down and uh, got uh, several blocks and got in the way of a number of people. Uh, I'd say in decam pick it up, and I just wanted to go have fun with him in the end zone, so I would do anything to help my brother out. Every time AM pushed, MSU shoved back, and the Bulldogs win big 42 to 24. So there it is, Joe. I would say Mississippi State pulls off the upset, but they were actually favored here tonight over number 17 ranked Texas AM, and I guess rightfully so. Next up for the Bulldogs, they get Arkansas here at Davis Wade Stadium, another ranked squad. Reporting from Davis Wade Stadium, I'm Bradley Davis, WAPT Sports.